Oh boy, do we have a lot to get to. I gotta jump right in. Joining me now exclusively is the president's personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani. Mayor, How are you? Uh, great to see you. Sorry you're not in the <laughs> studio, but we got some major breaking news we need to get to in just moments. Sure. Uh, but first, your reaction to the Democrats asking Bill Barr to, in essence, violate the legal boundaries of reviewing this report for grand jury confidential information. Uh, the subpoena vote today was along party lines, but they're uh, throwing down the gauntlet. What's, what's your reaction? Well, I think they're actually proving that they're a, a ba basically a rabid uh, partisan Democrats who should not be investigating something where you have to have some degree of objectivity and fairness before you call people before committees. They obviously have none. They have no regard for the Constitution or the laws. I can show you letters from them that would be a joke in terms of total disregard for the attorney-client privilege, as if it doesn't exist. And now they want the attorney general to violate Rule 6E, which is a federal felony, five years in prison, and they'd like him to, uh, to violate uh, possibly a, a laws of regarding classification, uh, possibly damage uh, innocent reputations. Uh, the reality is I am absolutely confident that the attorney general will put out a very, very complete uh, part, if not all of it, whatever he can legally. And uh, maybe they should change the law if they want to. And so that every grand jury, all grand jury testimony is just open to everybody. And uh, there's no attorney-client privilege. Yeah, but Rudy, what they're uh, saying, maybe, one of maybe the we can do away with, you know, they did away with the presumption of yeah. innocence for about uh, two years. So th 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 their disregard for the Constitution is uh, mind boggling and frightening. Yeah, well, they didn't want any of this released when it was 98 and was a star report. They didn't want that released. Now it's a different deal. But they claim that, look, the president initially said he wants it all out. And now they're kind of pulling back on that. So, you know, well, the their simplistic the messages, what do you have to hide? Well, first of all, the president actually can't have it all out either. He can't override the, the law. He can't say, okay, uh, the grand jury secrecy doesn't matter. Only a judge can do that under very, very narrow circumstances. You know that, Laura. These people are lawless. They're a joke. I mean, it, it, there are laws in this country. You know, Republicans get the benefit of laws, not just Democrats. Well, Rudy, the New York Times just reported hours ago, and, and the left is going gaga over this, that the Mueller team members think that their findings are more damaging for Trump than Barr made out in his summary four-page letter. Uh -huh. Now, they conveniently leave out which team members <laughs> right. are upset or and what, which findings. Finding, and yeah, what right. findings they have an issue with. <laughs> but it seems like they've, they've kind of, you know, there are a lot of Democrat loyalists in that team, but it seems that they're, they're maybe they're feeling the heat or they want to put well, something well, else out there. But does this seem to be a politically motivated <laughs> leak of grievances? Well, first of all, it makes the point that we've been making for two years, despite all of the uh, media reports about how holy and sanctimonious the Mueller team is. There are, there are a bunch of sneaky, unethical leakers, and they are rabid Democrats who hate the president of the United States. And I can't tell you how much false information they leaked during the course of the investigation. How many people were going to be indicted that didn't get indicted? How many, uh, how many blockbusters were there, starting with Papadopoulos and ending with Cohen, who turns out to be a serial liar. I mean, it, 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 how could you have any confidence in this? But I just had Richard Goodstein on, and, you know, he's a lawyer, well-known, used to work for Hillary. He said, look, why, why were they all t not telling the full truth about these contacts with Russians? They said the meeting was about adoption. And I looked at him, and I like Richard. I said, are you still saying that they're colluding? Are you still that making is the, the full, case? That is the full truth, by the way. The full truth is the meeting was about the uh, Magnitsky Act and, and about uh, adoption. Restoring adoption. Since I have two Russian yeah. sons, I that know all about it. Believe that, hap me. that happens to be yeah. true. I mean, yeah. it's not But fair. they are still clinging to the collusion thing. They have but, not let it go. And they, they, are, they, are, they now yeah. think with this New York Times report, Rudy, that they're going to have, there's going to be stuff in this Mueller report. They want it released like yesterday. They're going to have big protests over the country, uh, they claim, tomorrow. They got to release this thing now, unredacted, all underlying documents, and you can see they've got to keep feeding well, this Mueller beast. Uh, they got to uh, keep I, feeding I, it. I am, I am absolutely confident that uh, the, the report will bear out the conclusions. The conclusions, uh, no, no obstruction, no uh, Russian uh, collusion of any kind. It will bear that out. 
uh, whether they can take some facts and twist them one way or another, we're ready to rebut that. I've, I've been ready to rebut their report for four months, and Jay has and our team has. I mean, we'd be happy to take them on. Uh, we think we can prove beyond any doubt that there is nothing to collusion, and I don't even think they're talking about collusion. And I think we can prove well, no, there's absolutely nothing to obstruction. Yeah. Adam Schiff said today on MSNBC, we don't have to play it, I'll just read it. He said, there's plenty of evidence of collusion and corrupt co-mingling of work between the Trump campaign and the Russians. He said that this morning on uh, Morning Joe. Well, I mean, I don't know if there's anything left of Adam Schiff's reputation or anybody would believe him. But the reality is there is no evidence of collusion because there was no collusion. And let me just give you one overview of obstruction. How could there be obstruction when Mueller completed his investigation and nobody obstructed it? What, did somebody think about obstruction? That's not a crime. I mean, the, the well, proof is mad. in... they're They're clearly... Mueller's the team proof is, is in the... What kind of obstruction was this? Mueller got yeah. 500 witnesses, 1.4 million documents, spent upwards of $40 yeah. million, got to his conclusion without anybody interfering with him. So... Uh, God almighty, this would be the strangest obstruction case I ever saw. Hey, Rudy, is Emmett Flood... It's not Flood, obstruction. Is no Emmett obstruction. Flood still going to stay at the White House? I mean, he's been doing this Mueller thing for a, a, a while. <laughs> I mean, Emmett Flood is an old friend of mine, but I've got to say Well, that. Emmett Flood uh, is such a good lawyer. This isn't the only thing he does. I know, can he do. wants to. He, so I hope he stays. He's a critical part of the president's team. Yeah. I've had the honor of working with him. I think he's a great lawyer, and he's one of the reasons we got the result that we got. You bet, you bet he is. But, By the way, but, Adam, Sch i got to play Adam Schiff. He just said this moments ago, Rudy, and he must have known you were coming on tonight. Let's watch. Why didn't he release a... A summary produced by Bob Mueller himself instead of trying to shape it uh, through his own words. So I, I don't know what to make of the New York Times report. It is concerning. We're going to fight this uh, in any way we can and any way we need to to make sure that the American people get to see the product of Bob Mueller's work without the filter of Mr. Trump's hand-picked attorney general. Rudy, this is going to, they're going to ride this all the way through yeah, 2020. Well, I I, you I, know they are. All the, the way through 2020, they're riding this they're gonna, uh, unredacted they're gonna, report. They're going to ride it right, right to uh, making themselves even more incredible than they are already. That man uh, should, be, should be ashamed for his disgraceful conduct in saying that he had evidence of collusion. Where's the evidence of collusion? Did you give it to Mueller? Of course you didn't, because you weren't telling the truth. You're not telling the truth now. You're such an overwhelmed partisan. You're so emotional in your hatred of Trump. You can't even see the truth. Rudy, the, uh, the issue of the tax returns came up again uh, today, uh, that the House Democrats, you know, formally requested six years of the president's personal and business tax returns. We knew this was going to come. Right. And they want them, okay, so just you have a pen, they want them a week from today. Here was Good. the president's response today. The chairman of the Democratic College Ways and Means Committee moments ago asked the IRS for six years of your tax returns. Let me hear. Is that all? That's all. Oh, usually it's 10, so I guess they're giving up. Now, um, we're under audit, uh, despite what uh, people said, and we're uh, working that out. I mean, it's, it's ludicrous, but why does being under audit preclude him from releasing his tax returns? Well, the, the real reason is that this is not the IRS. Nadler is completely distorting our government. This is not an enforcement agency. They don't get to look at my tax return. I mean, a, a congressional committee doesn't get to look at my tax return or your ways tax return. Yeah, it's coming from ways and means. Yeah, They're but, going right to the but, IRS. They're actually not asking Trump. They're going to yeah, the IRS, but, which the, is unprecedented. Unprecedented, and the IRS is going to have to resist it because it would be totally illegal. There's no basis for it. There's no legislative basis for it. And they're not the IRS. They don't investigate tax fraud or tax irregularities or tax mistakes. If they start investigating that, we're going to... Everybody got all upset when Nixon did this. This is horrendous. If Congress, if these politicians in Congress can get their hands on people's tax returns and they go after, you know, they're Democrats and they go after Republicans' tax returns, what have we become? It has no. to be resisted. The president has to resist this for the good of all of us. Because otherwise, they'll be going after, know. you know, they, they get a, a media person who's too far right. They'll go after their tax returns. All right, Rudy. And I, apparently tomorrow they're going to be subpoenaing the greenskeeper at Mar-a-Lago at the golf course. Because well, and the, and the, said he uh, cheats at golf. golf. It's the only thing I'm worried <laughs> about is did, did, did uh, 
President Trump, when he was younger, pay all his parking tickets. I think he oh, did. Yeah. I think yeah. he did. I think the he, golf, we haven't the checked. golf thing we is the best. The we golf haven't. story is the best, though. Come on. Uh, yeah, that's, come so on. That's, they're shifting. Now we're on to golf gate. All right, Rudy, thank you so much. We love thank having you, you on. Right.